Hello, Brother Monroe here with um, your bonus video today. Very kind, uh, well, the, the channel um, is really supported by you guys um, just, just by watching. Um, but there are some who go above and beyond and support me on Patreon. There's a link down, down below. And because I have these wonderful people um, helping me make content, you guys get extra scenarios uh, based on their ideas. So this one today is from Thread of Length. Thank you very, very much for this one. I'm going to enjoy this or not. Um, <laughs> Since you continue to besmirch and slander the good name and tradition of the pre-Dreadnought battleship, I really do hate them, I thought you could use a scenario to prove how completely wrong I am, and I do like challenging my assumptions. So, um, uh, year can be anywhere between 1925 and 19. 30. I'm going to go for 1925, I think. Uh, choice of country is for me. Uh, I'm going to go for the British Empire, of course. We'll go up against the Austro-Hungarians, why not? Um, the enemy fleet will have two battleships, a battle cruiser, and two heavy cruisers, and I'm going to take them on with a single not dreadnought. <laughs> Um, so, here are the rules. I must use the smallest hull I can. So that'll be the Dreadnought 3. Um, I must cover the deck in as much superstructure as I possibly can. So, the biggest things. Oh, Melly. My word. Shush, there's nobody there. Um... I mean, I can get really extreme with this. Melly, that's enough. Shh! Melly. She's barking all day yesterday. Drove me absolutely berserk. Right. Um, I think... I think that's most of the day. <laughs> yep. Uh, I must have at least four different calibers of gun. Bonus points if I use more. Well, I'm sure we can manage that. Uh, let's go for... Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Mm. No, sadly, they... Oh, they do fit there. They do fit there. Okay. Uh, four inch... No, I'm not impressed with you. I'll go there if I spin them a little bit. It looks so haphazard. <laughs> okay. I'm um, pretty sure we can fit some two inch guns in here. Maybe it's in. Th Three inch guns. Nope. Uh, eight inch guns. Yeah, we can put eight inch guns. One there. One there. So that's two, four, six, and eight. <laughs> uh, so that's three. Uh, I've allowed four of my biggest gun. No more than two centerline turrets. And every mount must be fitted with a gun. So I've done that one. Uh, I can't use modern battleship. I can't use turrets with more than two guns. I've not done that. I can't use super firing guns, and I cannot uh, spam torpedoes. So it's really just the main guns. Um, I should probably use 14-inch guns, and that kind of fits with the theme of um, me building a ship that I absolutely loathe. Oh, damn it. I need to actually be able to get that in there. Hold on. Move this forward. Move. Come on. This. Okay, that's as far forward as I can get it. Might actually have to put this one up here. I'll put them back in a minute. Because I, I do need... Oh, hold on. I'm going to make the ship bigger. Uh. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. 
Mm. Right. Do you fit now? Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Budge him up a bit. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> How do I have a 6.8% starboard weight offset? Aha. Uh -huh. That's a 4-inch gun. Missing from this mount under here. What we do with these guns? Hold on. Don't worry, they're not going anywhere. There we go. Oh no, it still says I have a Star Wars. Oh, I didn't put one in under here. Why, why not? Come on, I want a gun in there. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Said bonus points for using more gun barrels, right? Let's stick three inch guns in there. Lovely. There we go. Do have a little bit of a full weight offset. Uh, try bring this perfectly balanced. There we go. Oh my word. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, I need my eight-inch guns back. Uh, do do. One there. One there. Oh yes, perfection. The only super firing things are these uh, double stacked. <laughs> double stacked guns. Actually, for completeness' sake, I'm going to make all these lower guns three inch doubles. Just so it looks even weirder. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh my god, so much smoke interference. Um, can I use funnels that are a little bit less gonna completely obstruct any ability for my ship to do anything? That's still quite a lot of smoke interference, but it's less. Oh my word. Okay. Um, let's go for oil and double gear turbines. Uh, she's already rather fast. Um, someone was telling me that this changes the smoke interference, but it uh, it doesn't. Um, boom, 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 boom. Do. Doesn't seem to 27 knots. 27 knots. Um, turbo electric. Advanced propeller. Crop 4. Barbet. Citadel. Actually, turtle back. For this type of nonsense. Um, uh, Two powder. It's my flash fire chance. 2%. Live with that. Hydrophone eighty-three. Wow. Okay. Uh, trip bottom hull and anti-torpedo four. Lovely. Don't need that. Would love maximum bulkage. Okay. Now we're starting to get uh, uh, anti-torp three will work though. Um. The pff, armor. 
you go for a 16-8. Oh yeah. <laughs> six, three, six. Sixteen. Nice. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. Um, and yeah, we can just stick a little bit more on the tower. Come on. 21.5. A little bit of an halfway offset now. Ugh. It's either a four and a half way offset. Can't can't do anything about that. Okay. Um well here we go. The um the uh <laughs> the ob really cat block. The obdurate, I think. Fits this ship. <laughs> what what a bizarre design. But that's what was requested. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if she's any good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, they have two battleships of a more normal design. <laughs> Okay. Gonna have to close in as best we can. Ow! How? How did a nine inch gun penetrate my main tower? Exactly. Okay, they're using 15 inch guns against us. Alright, guns off if you're just going to throw shells in the sea for no reason. There is their battleship. Uh, and secondary guns there. Right, you may fire normally now. Scored a hit. Not a very good hit, but it's a hit. Firing four shells at a time, I'm going to find this quite tricky. 12 kilometers. Yeah. There we go. There you go the eight inch guns. Well, it should be able to do some damage to the heavy cruisers. Probably going to have a look at them. Oh. Interesting. I don't think that is a heavy cruiser. I think that's a battle cruiser. It is. And here we have the heavy, which does have some torpedoes. Lovely. So we've got the Ertz Hotford and a Max. 16 inch guns firing cordite. Heavy shells with minimum bulkheads. Okay. Well, you're an accident waiting to happen. And we have the Erzod Friedrich, 15 inch triple guns, minimum bulkheads, for goodness sake, AI, TNT, super heavy TNT, oh my.
Well, we're trying, but I think they're all quite fast compared to us. Ow! Ow! Stop that! Yeah, there's super heavy TNT shells. When they score a hit, they do a lot of damage. And we can't hit anything for Toffee, apparently. Yeah, go for the uh, Erzog. Might actually hit her. Ow! Still no hits. Right, what's your chance to hit the battlecruiser? 6.8. And you're still better off firing at the battleship. Ineffectually. It does feel like I'm using a pre-dreadnought, I'll be honest. A hit, finally. No torpedo launches yet from the enemy. Oh, stop! Mm. Right, taking your guns on the light cruiser, you might actually be able to hurt it. Damage domain gun. Accuracy is actually decent, they're just missing. And again. I was about to say why aren't they launching torpedoes but apparently they did just the game didn't oh it was the Helgeland oh well um, can I avoid those I'll try oh my rudder's out that's going to make it tricky damage now. More torpedoes. Yep, yeah, just does not have the firepower to deal with this. And... Killed by a torpedo? Probably. Yep. Oh no, not killed by a torpedo, but still very, very dead. Pre-Dreadnoughts, still not a fan. <laughs> still not a fan of Pre-Dreadnoughts at all. Um, especially, uh, just yuck. Just yuck. Not enough, not enough um, punch. Not enough firepower to do anything. Um, yeah, no thank you. I'll stick with... Uh, <laughs> Stick with more modern Dreadnought and uh, modern battleship designs. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, check out the link in the description down below if you want to send me um, UAD scenarios, whether you're a Patreon or not. Um, you can do that when I'm doing stuff live on Twitch through the Discord server. Um, or, of course, if you're a Patreon, you can sponsor one of these videos just like this. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.